What it fellas, the I am Jesse here. I'm back for another LEGO Star Wars 2021 set review for you guys. And this time, I'm reviewing one of the other sets that released in January for the lineup. And that is the Trouble on Tatooine. It's set 75299, 8 ages 7 plus, it has 276 pieces and 2 minifigures plus Baby Yoda. Now my grandmother got me this set off of Amazon for my graduation surprise for the lineup. So without further ado, let's take a look at the minifigures first. So first up, here we have the new Beskar armor version of the Mandalorian. So this is why I wanted to buy this set. Well, I wanted to have this set right here. So when I wanted to find this set for this guy, they were all sold out. So thank God I got it because of this minifigure. So here he is. Now he looks really nice right there in his Beskar armor. Now he does come with a black blaster and his rifle right there as you can see so let's set those pieces aside so here he is without it jesus look at this uh, shiny look at this silver armor look at this beskar suit i love it so i don't have the 2019 version but this is the new second mando minifigure well this is the main character i want to get from the show and i love his arm printing look at that that is really neat. I love the arm pretty for the left and right arm. It looks great. The legs and torso pretty look awesome. And the helmet looks great. I just love it. So anyways, yeah, this is really cool looking as you can see. I really like the nice detail for the arms pretty and the leg and torso right there. And so is the helmet as you can see. Here's the back of him with his dark gray cape right there as you can see. And lift that up, this is what his back torso pretty looks like. And there is no Pedro Pascal did jar headpiece. Why are they sticking with that black head? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, come on, just stop doing that. It was revealed why I wish they could make a Pedro Pascal did jar face print under that helmet. So this is still a good figure, but I wish they could fix up the face for him so that is it for mando and here's my first tuscan raider minifigure to be honest i never had any of these guys from the star wars sets in my entire life you guys so this is my first one in my collection and finally i have this minifigure thank god i finally have him so anyways he does come with his own spear trying to lift his right arm there we go so here he is with the spear so we're gonna set that piece aside so here he is without it so anyways i like the leg and torso printing and the nice accurate molding for the head it's like it that rubber stillish look right there as you can see so yeah i like the face it looks great and i love the torso and leg printing looking very nice right there as you can see but man this is really cool okay i just like how they nailed that look which is really cool, okay? So, yeah, I like all the detail right there for this figure. And he looks so great looking. And the back torso pretty looks great with that strap. And the back of the head with those gray spikes right there. That looks great. I just like how this figure turned out. And I'm happy this is my first Tusky Raider minifigure that I ever had. So that is it for the Tusky Raider. And here's our little Grogu the Child slash Baby Yoda. Finally, I won it. This guy, well, i glad they add him in a cheap set. So, I believe this set is retail for 30 bucks. So, yeah, this is the cheapest way to get him from those two expensive sets, which is the buildable BB Yoda and the Razor Crest. But, man, this is really nice. I'm finally having BB Yoda in my collection. So, I love the headpiece that is in that rubberish look. So, we have the head and the torso, two bodies that are connected. And we do get his baby torso right there with that torso printing right there, as you can see, which is really neat and so cute looking. But man, this is really nice right there, as you can see. I just like how they nail the ears and stuff, the face, so adorable. So anyways, this is a nice looking Grogu that we've ever gotten right there, as you can see. And here's the back of him, so nothing much right there. And as usual for these baby torsos, there is no... Pretty on the back right there. So, yeah, I'm happy I got him. And you can't let a minifigure hold him if you want to, just like so. So that is it for the minifigures. Now, here we have the three builds in the set. We have Mando's speeder bike, 
the hut and the ballista right there. So we're going to take a look at the other build to last right there. So I want to take a look at Mando's speeder bike first. So this is what I want to focus on right now. So here's Mando's speeder bike. Now, as you can see, it looks really neat right there. So I just like how accurate it is to the show itself right there, which is really neat. So anyways, it looks so freaking cool looking. Holy crap, look at this speeder bike. So this is really nice right here. So here is the whole front of the bike right there. We do get these two black pieces right here, as you can see, and so is the handlebars, a little backpack piece right there, and a baby holder for Grogu. So this is really nice right there, as you can see, which is so freaking dope. Here is the side of the speeder bike right there. And yes, I did mention we have the little baby holder for Grogu and some clips for Mando's weapons and all that looks really neat right there. And it looks nice. So here's the bottom of the speeder bike, the top, the back side right here, and the other side. So, and this piece can move up and down right here. It so has this part right here, which is really neat. And you can't sit the Mandalorian down. So, in my way, you had to flip his cape up and so has his arms and legs. Well, that's the usual part why I had to flip his cape up like that. There we go. And also set that down. Well, it's hard to let the minifigure hold the handlebars because they're in this way. Or you can't bend them like this if you want to. So, and also, let me try to find his weapon. So, we could clip them on. So that's one. And also for this side, this is for his rifle. There we go. And now let's put the child right here inside. And they're all set to go. So yeah, that is really neat. I just wish they kill it. the minifigure touch the handlebars. Well, you can't bend them like this if you want to, or like this if you want to, just in case. So yeah, I really love this speeder bike. It is really nice looking. So nothing much, but that is all we've got so far. So that is it for the speeder bike. Now here is the ballista. Now this is for the weapon for the Tusken Raider when he helps Mando, Cobb Van, and the other villagers of Tatooine fight against that sand creature right there from the first episode of the second season. So anyways, this is a nice looking build right here. So here we have this front part right here. We do get a spring loaded shooter in gray or silver. And this piece can move up and down if you want to. And also we have this part that can move up and down, which is really neat. And some of them are connected to the left and right side right here, which is really neat. So here's the top part of it, which is really nice. Here's the bottom. We have that clear piece right there, which is really cool looking. If you don't want it, you can't take it off if you feel free to. And also those pieces can bend like that, just like so. So here's the side of it, which is really nice looking. Here's the back of the ballista right there, as you can see. And here's the other side with the same thing. Now you can't let the Tusken Raider hold it since it shows you like on the back of the instructions with the spear. And it's a little higher right there, which is really okay to me. And this part can bend just like so. And you know how spring load shooters work. That's how they work. Now, if you lose one of these, they will give you a few extra ones in this set right here. So yeah, that is really cool. I love that little play feature right there. So yeah, this is a nice looking build right there, as you can see, which is really cool for this nice looking build. So nothing much right there. I like the spring loaded shooter piece, but that is all we've got. So that is it for the Ballista. And finally, we have this little hut. So here we have this little hut piece right there for the Tusky Raider to chill out right there. We do get... The whole front section right here. We have the campfire, the pot with the skeleton bone, or just a bone right here. So, yeah, this is really neat right there. We do get a clip if you want to put his weapon right there. So, yeah, that is really neat. Love the tan pieces right there. So, that is great looking. I just love how that turns out right there. 
it, it looks really neat looking. So this is the front right there with the campfire. So here's the side of it, which is really neat. And I love how nice the hut looks really cool looking right there. Here's the other side of it, which is really neat, as you can see. And this is the back and the top part of the hut itself. And also you can spread it out like this if you wanted to. So this is how like the interior part looks like right here. And also those pieces are bendable just like so. And you can't let the Tuscan Raiders weapon attach like this if you want to. And you can't close it back up. So nothing much for this $30 set for the Mandalorian, but that is all we've gotten so far. So overall, this set is really neat. So I really want it so bad to be honest. So this set releases in January 1st, 2021, because this is part of the January wave. So anyways, this is a nice looking set right here. And I wanted it so bad because of Grogu and the Beskar Mandalorian armor minifigures. So yeah, and I want to get the main character, which is the Mandalorian himself. So I love the builds of this set, especially Mando's speeder bike right there, as you can see. And I like how some of the pieces are bendable, including this part right here. That is really neat. Well, it sucks that you can't not let the minifigure hold these two handlebars. I just wish they could do that. I mean, come on. Well, you can't just bend them right there if you want to, so... Yeah, I need to do that too, but still. Anyways, I like how they add that little baby holder for Grogu right there, as you can see, which is really neat. So, anyways, yeah, it is really cool looking. I like how you can't put Mando's weapons on there, which is really neat. So, that is really cool looking. I like how you could do that for the left or right side. One for his black blaster and one for his rifle. So, that is really neat, and I like how you can't actually do that right there as you can see which is really cool and the little hut for the Tusken Raider looks great so you can't put that little spear right there or staff if you want to call it on that little clip piece right in front of the campfire so that is really neat and it is open like this if you want it like that if you want to make some references from the first episode of the second season so yeah that is really neat right there as you can see and Nothing much, but it is really cool. You love the campfire, and I like how you can attach the accessory right there, and all that looks really neat right there. And the Bolesco looks really neat. So I like how they added that spring-loaded shooter in that silver or grayish color right there, but they only give you two of these. Well, I wish they could give us more than two, just in case if we officially lose that piece. So. I like how you can bend these pieces right there, which is really neat, and let the Tusker Raider hold it. So maybe off of the ground, well, I'm still okay with that, to be honest. Well, it is what it is. So I love the Beskar Mandalorian armor minifigure. Love the torso, legs, arm printing. And yes, the front and back torso printing, the arm printing. The helmet looks really great. Well, I wish they could add that Din Djarin hair piece, not hair piece, head piece, is what I meant to say for Pedro Pascal. I mean, come on. They should have done that. Why in God's name do they stick with the black head? Well, just in case, no spoilers, but still, in my opinion. And the Tusken Raider is really cool looking. So like I said, I never had any of the Tusken Raider minifigures from the Star Wars sets before, but this is my first one that I own. And Grogu, he is really cool looking. Well, he's only exclusive in that expensive Razor Crest set. Why? Well, glad they put him in a cheaper set. Well, this is still $30, but still in my opinion. So everyone could get their hands on him. So especially me. But anyways, this is a nice looking set. And I still love the Mandalorian TV show. And this is a really nice set that you can add to your collection. But it is so freaking dope looking. And it's going to be super cool looking for the lineup. So nothing much to say. But that is all I've gotten so far for the lineup. So that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell. The save button. Link in the description. And hope to manage that comment section down below. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about this uh, Tatooine set for the lineup. 
I'll see you later, alligator.